Hi, welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where I try one new thing a week and post however it has turned out. I hope to inspire you to try something new of your own and make you laugh through my projects. <laughs> So this week is a continuation of last week. Last week I made a shampoo bar that inadvertently failed and turned into a conditioner bar with some ingredients that needed to be taken out. So I've revamped that recipe and I'm gonna try it as a conditioner bar. So this week we are making a DIY melt and pour conditioner bar. These are super fun. I love making the DIY beauty products. I hope you try them. They're super easy. You hardly need any ingredients. You have most of them at home and they're just great. So this recipe is three teaspoons shea butter, one teaspoon cocoa butter, one teaspoon cetyl alcohol, one teaspoon coconut oil, and some drops of tangerine essential oil. I am going to melt them in that order that I just said because of the melting point on each is a little bit different. We're just gonna use the double boiler and get started. So, so far I have cocoa butter, the shea butter, the cetyl alcohol. I'm going to wait till this melts because the coconut oil melts really quickly and I don't want it to burn. And then I'll add the essential oils after everything is melted. So it's about 5-10 minutes later, everything's melted. I just shut the stove off. I don't even think it's come to complete boil. I've already added the coconut oil. So just do the tangerine drops. So that's how it filled the cup. So we'll just let it harden up and I will use it in the morning and tell you how it turned out. It is the next day, about 24 hours later, almost to the exact time frame. And my house is always hot, so it took quite a while to harden up. And I did just have it in the, fri oh, the fridge for about an hour and it's still hardening up. It feels really soft and nice, but I do need it harder than that to bring in to the shower. So I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. Okay, so I wash my hair every other day. So that conditioner bar actually had 24 hours, if not a little bit more, in the fridge. And I just used it and I let my hair naturally dry. I didn't touch it with the blow dryer at all. And I love it. I do have to say, if you have fine hair, take out the coconut butter. But for my dry, coarse, curly, bleached out hair, it was really good. I liked the way it felt putting it on. It was easy to use and it rinsed out really nice. It didn't feel like it was built up or greasy or anything after the fact. It was really nice. I would give it a try. So that yielded probably a little conditioner bar that was between 30 to 40 grams, really small. It was like a, like a little puck that fit perfectly in your hand and you could just use it that way in the middle of your palm. Obviously, if you're gonna make that in bulk, then just times your percentages by whatever you want. Yeah, I hope you try it, give it a try. It was a really good conditioner bar. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for your subscribes, your likes, and your shares, and your comments. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Don't, 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 don't.